Hi, I'm Snoopy. So let's say you're shipwrecked on an abandoned island in Ohio. I'm pretty sure nobody lives there. You find a bottle with a genie in it. And in your delirious state, you are shipwrecked after all, you ask for a Softline Pentium 3 based gaming computer running Windows NT Workstation 5.0. You are delirious after all, but you don't get that because the genie is a cheap bastard. This of course begs the question, what could you do with such a system? After finding an outlet, of course. Well, tonight on Windows Extras, thanks to Seraphim's custom version of Windows 2000, we're going to be having a look at just that. So let's have a look, shall we? I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. So minor oversight, I appear to not have a cheap bastard slot one gaming computer. So we gotta make one. Look at this shit. Got the fucking case. Don't ask where I got this. Let's get this shit out of here. The fuck is this? Got the fucking 700 megahertz Pentium 3, 512 megabytes of something resembling RAM, all connected onto this gateway looking ass motherboard. Put this shit in here. Hold it in with the fucking gamer screws. The black paint makes it 2% faster at fucking Minecraft. I think we're missing something. <laughs> no. Your time has come. Give me this. Got the fucking box of wires. Table management can suck my dick. What else do we need? Oh, right, front panel. Well, I know which one the power switch is. That's good enough for me. Uh, don't need EPS. Don't need SATA. We will need this. Everything else can kind of fuck off. And of course, we've got to add some other niceties. G43 looking ass, get in there. Oh, hell yeah. That ain't going anywhere. Snoopy likey. Ara ara. Got the fucking Asus IDE cable, more like a sub. Okay, that's a pretty cool system, I admit. I remember why I don't use this case. And let's see how it works, because this is definitely the first time I'm doing this. I definitely didn't do any pre-testing. No! I need your optical drive. Give, give me the optical drive. This is not a request. Ah, shit! Cases are for nerds. Look at this shit, it's totally fine. The feminine urge to hot plug the graphics card. <laughs> That, it's mad at me. So that's exactly what didn't happen. Also, it's the next day again. What the fuck? I am getting very good at transitioning. If only that were true in any other context. I am remarkably opaque. Anyways, let's see if this shit still works for definitely the first time. I need to open the thing first. Get ready for the world's cheapest power button. Oh my god, that's horrible. Holy shit, it works! I am definitely surprised by that. Hey guys, look what I found. Oh, hell yeah, I'm putting this in there. <laughs> <laughs> Got that party going on in there. Wow, this is loud in all of the wrong ways. Give, give me this. Oh, okay, don't no, need this where you're going. Much better. Now that's an improvement. It's kind of empty though. Pretend this is doing something. I mean, I suppose we could fix that. I do have a spare drive, but I, I don't think we need it. So now that we have this lovely computer, it is now time to fulfill the Windows NT 5.0 part. And what better way to do that than with Seraphim's custom version of Windows 2000 that is meant to emulate the look and feel of the pre-release versions back when it was called NT 5.0 but also has some other useful and cool things. For instance, all updates are integrated, including Internet Explorer 6, Service Pack 1, root certificates, as well as the .NET Framework 1.1 and 2.0, Media Player 7 is included, as well as the optional extended kernel for if you want to run newer applications. But I should note it doesn't come pre-installed. It's on the disk for you to install it yourself be because you wouldn't want that. It kind of fucks with some things interestingly, so it's a good idea to only install the extended kernel if you really need it. Lastly, it comes with LBA48 drive support, so that's drives bigger than 137 gigabytes out of the box, so you don't have to uh, do any funny business yourself. So if you see what you like and are interested in giving it a try, she is releasing it, and there's a link in the description for you to try it out yourself. It will still need a Windows 2000 product key because nobody wants to get sued, but those are easy enough to obtain. I sure do wish I knew how to blur things. 
I should note that while yes, it sounded like a sponsorship read, uh, nobody's paying me. She asked me if I wanted to cover this, and like, I love projects like this, you know, modifying closed source software, so I just asked for talking points because I don't want to miss anything, I am very forgetful, my brain is a fucking walnut. With that out of the way, let's actually install it, shall we? Why is this here? Oh, right, don't, we don't talk about that. So we're just gonna ignore this and go into the setup, which hopefully the CD-ROM drive still works. Okay, that's good. Wait a minute, wait a minute, you're not supp oh no. Well, that's not good. Um, press any key, it's, I, I'm, I'm pressing all of the, what the fuck? Well, I'm gonna, we can try that again. Lucky it's at perfectly at foot height, I can just, there we go. Let's turn it off with my foot, that works. Seriously? Okay, I'm gonna burn another disc. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Okay, we need a new CD-ROM drive, give me five minutes. It's a very good skill being able to screw with one hand. Wait, we can talk about this. I swear to god, in these videos, like, the hardware I'm not even trying to do anything weird with is more unstable than the software half the time. Don't ask where I got that. Some sacrifices had to be made. Oh, thank god. So here we go, the setup program is for the Microsoft Windows NT TM operating system version 5.0. To set up Windows NT now, press enter. Okay, Windows 2000 definitely didn't say that. Uh, yes. And since this is Windows 2000, uh, I mean NT5, we can use the entire drive. And we're gonna do it NTFS, because we can't fuck it up this time. Now I've got a hammer with your name on it, and I don't mean the Valve Map Editor. <laughs> I'm very tempted to put one in there just so it can shut the fuck up. Anyway, let's click Escape. And it should work. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Hey, there we go. Nice. Ah uh, man, the design of this, I swear to god, the look of Windows NT5 is just... has a much more sterile look to it. I I actually heavily prefer it over Windows 2000, see? It's much flatter. I really like this. If I remember correctly, this part takes like an hour, so... I'ma just, uh... Hey, there we go! That took fucking forever! <laughs> wow! Okay, click next. Please leave while well set up the text and installs devices. This will take several minutes. Ah, uh, the hard drive sounds so good. That case isn't doing the acoustics any favors, though, to be honest. Gotta put it in a different case and have it more anchored down. Hmm. Here I am being a hard disk sound connoisseur again. God damn it. My organization is crime. What a lovely computer name. Like, go to the public library with that computer name and connect to the public Wi-Fi. <laughs> I see this going perfectly fine. Fucking setup asks me which state I live in. Indiana, Ohio, motherfucker, I am in a state of agony. Oh dear god. You don't want to go on the internet, trust me, it's full of weird people who make YouTube videos where they scream at computers. Fucking finally. Alright, let's see if that's actually worked. Now for the world's longest post, I sure do wish I knew why it had to do this. Okay, you've got that. alright, that's one of them, okay. You technically don't need the CD-ROM drive anymore. Hey, nice. There we go. <laughs> uh, didn't we already do this? Oh, um, yes. No, wait. This is auto login. Wait, I could actually use that. Only one person uses this computer. What was that? And there we go. I don't know if she added like the the fucking THX ass beta startup sound. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's one of the more you're entering the future sounding Windows startup sounds in my opinion. Part of me is like I would have loved for it to be the actual RTM Windows 2000 startup sound. But then the other half is like you know when you're trying to turn your computer on at night, right? And then you forget to turn your speakers off. You know you fucked up as soon as you're hit with the fucking. Then you know you fucked up, like, and th that sound is the difference between being a little bit upset that you forgot to turn it off and maybe waking somebody up versus fucking wetting yourself. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some drivers on this. Colors! Colors! Nice, so we now have drivers. 
What, did you think I was gonna record it? I learned my lesson last time, we're not doing that again. But now I am wondering something. What happens if I, what happens if I run version? Like, what, what does this say that it is? Oh, okay. Huh, custom version string. What does Winver do? Oh, wow, <laughs> okay, nice. Microsoft Windows version 5.0. Build 2195 Service Pack 4. So that is a Windows 2000 build. If so, if you were super duper curious and like thought I was running a beta, then now you know, that's, it's definitely Windows 2000 underneath. So if we go over, click the start menu, we've got our lovely Windows NT Workstation branding. I do wonder if maybe the custom versioning would maybe make legacy update upset because it can't find updates for Windows NT version 5.0, but then it might just be using NT version, which was always 5.0. You know, I guess we could try that. Oh, wow. Well, look at that. I love that animation. <laughs> nice. There's no point to install Legacy Update on NC 5.0 Second Edition, but I, I am just curious if it'll work. 924 bytes per second? Bytes per second? That's slower than dial-up. What the fuck? Okay. All right. God damn it. Oh my god, it's still going. That's not even one kilobit per second. Okay, all right, you know what? I, if it's gonna be this slow downloading it, I don't even wanna know how slow it is updating, so I think I'm just gonna stop it, and maybe we'll leave that for never, and we'll find something else to do, I guess. And what better thing to try on this uh, rather interesting operating system than violently normal software? And have I got just a thing. This is a copy of Age of Empires that I have, apparently, for some reason, and I think it'll fit the bill just perfectly. And my god, you remember back in the last video where I was talking about how good those 90s Microsoft CDs looked? Well, I ain't seen shit. They have no right making these discs look this good. As we can see here, we have Age of Empires Gold Edition, Age of Empires The Age of Kings, Age of Empires Conqueror's Expansion, as well as the Age of Empires Compilation Soundtrack. Damn right! Crack out that fucking disc, man! Put this shit in there! Sorry, I was listening to my graphics drivers! Hey, that's pretty good! But what if I said there was another way? Here's the regular game disc. Now, I bet I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, is this the new ambient music of the kids are talking about? Damn, this shit fucking slaps! And, uh, well, no, this is just the data track if we advance one. Music! But it isn't just this game. More music! The reason for that... Back then, computers slow no work while decoding audio quickly. So instead, something something wire, something something sound card. Put the wire in the sound card. Put the CD... in the CD-ROM drive. It's as shrimple as that. Let's put the fucking game in the computer now. Oh, right. <laughs> But before we do that, let's have a look at some different desktop backgrounds, because Windows NT5 does actually come with some different ones, and I haven't seen them all yet. Come over to display. Now the regular blue lace. This one's my usual favorite when using Windows 2000. Um, oh. Hmm. Now, you see, that's the problem. I don't know what Windows 2000 normally comes with, so I don't know, like, which ones are normal and which ones aren't. Why would you ever want that to be the desktop background? Oh. Okay, I like that one. Hmm. Oh. Ah, that's so simple and clean looking. I like that one. Oh my. All right, let's actually put the, let's actually do this now. Holy shit. It's an extras video, okay? Give me a fucking break. Gotta move my thick fucking thighs out the way. Open this up. World's slowest fucking CD-ROM drive door. Put that in there. Ooh, previews. Temporary installation. What are you doing? I just wanted to see previews. Oh. Oh, wow. Age of Empires 2. What, what is this? Is this a game? Oh my god, it's a demo. No, it's not a demo. They're just screenshots? You call it a demo, but 
A, de a, a screenshots aren't demos. It's called a slideshow. All right, never mind. Forget the fuck this. Let's get back to installing it. <laughs> this is so funny. You got the font here, and you got the colors, and you got this fucking window with just this normal Times New Roman ass font going on in there. Uh, let's go with the full installation. Come on now. We're we got a ball and huge ass hard drive. I have never seen this before. Oh my god. Okay, this is cool. Experiencing Age of Empires set up just as our Lord and Savior Bill Gates had intended. Oh shit, it's done. Alright, enough of this. I can't edit with music in the background. It makes it hard. Uh, read me. Ha, ah, nah, that, that sounds gross. Auto adjustment in progress. Oh my god. It's got full motion video. Microsoft. How brilliant. Ooh. Okay, can I skip this? Can I have like escape or something? All right. Fuck. Hey, there we go. Wait, hang on a minute. Where is the settings? Well, yeah, single player. Uh, I would like settings, please. That's not what I meant. Maybe it just always runs in 800 by 600. Uh, deathmatch. That's right, playing fucking Call of Duty. Uh, player one, yes. I have no friends, so it's just me. So, small problem. I have never played Age of Empires before. I build a god house right there. Hey, I got it! Holy shit, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? I, I, would, I was doing something and all my villagers are dead. What the hell? Come on, I hear this alien ass technology. I'm, I'm, I'm saying they're, they're fucking cheating. That's what's going on here. Nah, no, he's dead already. All right, well, let's try something a little bit less isometric. Let's switch it up a little bit and try opposing force instead. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, okay. Fuck off, go away, no, no, no registration, bye. Uh, one thing that needs a CD key. Whoa. I love this fucking logo each and every time I launch this game. The Sierra logo just... It's so good. Oh no, can it not go to the native resolution of my monitor? Software, it probably could. No, wait. 1280 by 960. I don't think. Uh, hmm. Alright, well I guess we'll have to see. This monitor is definitely not that resolution natively. Half-Life Opposing Force. I have had this game for a very long time, and this is my first time launching it. And it runs well. Who knew? Training, United States Marine Corps, Special Forces. Oh god. Corporal? Uh, I am in way over my head. Whoa, look at all those polygons, holy shit. It's gotta be at least five. And it runs well, because it's got a GeForce 3 and a Pentium 3. How very 3. Now we just gotta get that Half-Life 3. Hey, a health station. Why, hello there. There's too much blood in here. I don't like blood. Can I, can I go now? Thanks. Whoa. Look at how fast this is. It's got at least three FPS in here. Like, no, this is totally playable because of course it is. All right, let's turn it up a couple hundred notches. And the next thing we're going to do, you all saw the community post, well, I mean, at least 78 of you, apparently, so, um, yeah, that's right, we're gonna be running Minecraft, because of course we are. So, the first step is, uh, since this is Windows 2000, I mean NC5, we have Java 6 at our disposal, so all we have to do is install it. That's weird, when did that folder get there? Uh, that's good, so now we're just gonna install Java 6, update, uh, up update 19. I'm pretty sure any version of Java 6 will work. This is just the one I knew for sure did. It doesn't really matter because we're uh, not connecting to the internet too much. The many security issues don't really apply right now, I think. All right, let's set up this fucking screen resolution. Let's get out of here. Much better. Can I click on, yep. Let's just launch this and, oh, right. <laughs> Uh, this is for Java 5. Let me just fix this. Um, so the minimum memory amount should be about 64 megabytes. And then we'll make the maximum about 400, I think, would be a good idea since we have 512. And then if we just click on this... And it works! But you might notice some compromises had to be made in order to get it to work. You might be thinking, oh, well, if this is Windows 2000, and if you have access to the extended kernel, why don't you just use MultiMC? Because that works on Windows XP, and it should work on Windows 2000, right? 
And the funny thing is that actually it totally would. Except for the small problem that um, this computer doesn't have SSE2, which MultiMC apparently requires. So this is kind of the only way that I found to do it. I don't know where I got this Minecraft 98 package originally. It was like 4 a.m. All I remember is HTTPS everywhere telling me that it was dangerous. So, um, but with this, we can still like at least see how it runs. So if we just create a new world and then, oh wait, we need task manager to see how much melting this does. See it is ill will. World name will be, uh, Nya, I guess. There we go. And now this part takes kind of a long time. Who would have guessed the Pentium 3 is kind of slow at this? I mean, I guess it's not so bad. And there we go, it works. Uh, but you might notice the um, frame rate leaves a little bit to be de desired. But while testing this, I did find an interesting trick to get it run faster. I know it's kind of funny since I just raised it, but the trick is called running the display at less than the native resolution. No, it's crazy, right? So let's try, is 800 by 600 an option? Okay, uh, yes. So now let's try it again, make it full screen, minimize that, let's press F11. So we are now running Minecraft in 800 by 600. And now let's see if it plays any better. Now running it, like this, it's actually pretty playable. I'm like actually kind of blown away. As long as you don't move around too much, this is better than the e-machine was before the RAM upgrade. It honestly didn't occur to me to do this. So we, we haven't even, we haven't even done any of the optimizations yet. So let's turn performance on to uh, max FPS, view bombing is on, advanced OpenGL, probably turn that on, I think. Or not. And so as you can see, you can't even really tell it's not running at the native resolution. But it is definitely running at 800 by 600, otherwise it wouldn't be running this well. If we try it again at native resolution, it runs exactly the same. Hang on a minute. No, no, wait. Wait a minute. That shouldn't be the case. What's going on? So if I switch this out of, what the hell is going on? Well, at least I thought I was right. Um, so I, I was wrong. So running it, it doesn't change anything what resolution you run it. Okay, let's try 800 by, let's try 640 by 480. There's gonna be a difference. We're gonna be able to tell here. It looks like shit, but the performance is the same. Hmm, okay, well, uh, that sucks. Uh, forget I said anything, uh, <laughs> okay. I'm sure I'm glad this is extras. That was a little underwhelming. Let's try connecting to a Minecraft server uh, and see if that runs any better. So I got about 6 FPS doing that and uh, wow, that was embarrassing. Okay, I thought switching the resolution down did make it perform better. Obligatory connecting to 2 beta 2T and since it is connected to the network and since the server is offline mode, AKA cracked. And yeah, so running on an external server, it is getting eight, nine FPS. That makes me wonder. I thought the performance gain was from actually running it at not native resolution. Um, why does this run so much better than it did on the e-machine? I bet it's this thing's graphics card. It's the GeForce 3 that's pulling the weight that makes it run better. Huh. Okay, so if we, like, put it back here, does this run any better? I can't fucking tell. Okay. Uh... Well, does it feel any better? Not exactly. Does screen resolution does not affect Minecraft at all? Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Oh, God. Yeah, that sounds about right, I guess. Performance isn't bad when you first spawn in because it's still loading in chunks. All right, well, I guess the answer is that question. I, I still do wonder why running it at different resolutions apparently doesn't make it any faster. I, I sincerely do not understand why. That should, in theory, make it perform better. If I make it here, it's not drawing as much. It should run better, but it's not. <laughs> oh, fuck. Got some lava. I mean, maybe it runs a little bit better in this tiny ass window. You know, I'm willing to say that runs better. No, that, that's better. Maybe resolution does affect performance, but like not by a lot. 
Oh, that, can I make it? Oh, no. I mean, yes, I did, but I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, because this is running better. Make it even smaller. No, that runs. No, nah, that's playable, as long as you're okay squinting. Is that bedrock down there? No. <laughs> okay. Any whoosie, I do believe that finally brings this project to a close. Sorry this video is coming out so late, there's been a lot going on recently, and also, um, Minecraft was supposed to play a, uh, larger part in this video, but, um, the whole multi-MC not working thing kinda ruined that, so I needed to dig up some other things to do instead in rather short notice. Um, anyways, huge thank you to Nat, to Grotz, e for me. Zet Media, Ryan, Beat Dropper, and Nilly for supporting the channel, and thank you for watching the video. Bye! Also, the next video will be Linux related, I promise, okay? We're, we're doing something very Linux next time, like, extremely Linux.